Hello everyone, this is Rexer of the YouTube and Twitch channel Not Quite There Gaming. Uh, sorry again for being one hour late last time. I tried to roll the streaming schedule back to 12 noon GMT this Sunday. We'll see how it goes. Either way, this is a very special stream. Even though you won't see it, it's a very special stream because I got myself a GTX 970 and I put it into my computer last night it was I mean there's a story for that and I'm gonna tell it probably make it uh, in a channel update or something it's <laughs> it's hilarious anyway I'm telling you that now because I might try later in the stream to stream something like Warframe um, but we're starting with our mainstay and mainstay I say because it's a hell of a lot of fun uh, Heroes of Mighty Magic 3 now I was really busy last week couldn't couldn't bring myself to even click some buttons to post the um, VOD for finishing Spoils of War the VOD is on YouTube right now you can see it um, but the idea is I wanted to give my audience a choice between playing Liberation and Long Live the King. I kind of messed that up, sorry, but I'm going to be honest with you, I love playing Necropolis. So we're going with Long Live the King. I, like, I mean, I, <laughs> I might have even overruled uh, public opinion for that if I would have given people a chance to say their their uh, opinion. So, we're doing an Acropolis campaign at last! I'm very excited for it. Uh, the campaign name is, is Long Live the King. Campaign description. The war in Arathia is the greatest thing that could have happened to the nation of Deja. A war of this scale is an endless harvest for our undead armies. Today we shall feast and tomorrow we shall conquer Arathia for ourselves. Uh, first scenario is a Griffin's Heart. To win, you must bring the spirit of oppression to the city of Stone Castle within three months. Seek out the Seer. Completing the Seer's quest will allow you to carry the reward to the next scenario. So, I get the feeling that, yeah, actually, there's some uh, text on the map. So it says here King Griffin Heart, the man who banished us from Erathia, is dead. The Nyon and Eofol invasion has given us the gift of death. At last, we can build our armies and invade Erathia ourselves. First, however, we need a tactician. You must find the tomb of, Kring, of King Griffinhart. So, I get the feeling that we're going to uh, resurrect the man that banished us from Erathia and make him lead our armies in conquering Erathia. Now, there's some very delicious irony in that. And I love it. Ah, okay, so we can start with a skeleton transformer, one black knight, or the death ripple spell. Now, I'm gonna be honest with you, the death ripple spell is kind of shitty. It's kind of shitty. I mean, you can say it's good if you have a lot of power behind it. Um, the idea is it damages living units, not dead units. So you have only dead units as undead as Necropolis. So it won't damage you, but it will damage the other guys, every single other guy, okay? So it's a nice um, multi-target spell. Um, but only if you have a lot of power. And starting, we won't have a lot of power. One hero right off the bat with one or two power, like, what the fuck am I going to do with the triple? Skeleton Transformer is easy to build. I'm thinking we should get the Black Knight. Why the Black Knight? Because he's a level 6 creature. I forget if it's the upgraded version or not. I think there's I think there's Dread Knights and Black Knights. I'm not entirely remembering this correctly. I think the Black Knight is the upgraded version. And it would be very useful starting to have a creature with more health and with a good um, amount of attack because we can send him in and he can actually tank 
a fair few shots from like early on mobs um, that we will have to clear in order to get to our mines. So I'm thinking that would be a good idea. Death Ripple would have a comparable effect if we go up against many targets because it's a multi-target spell that does the same amount of damage to every stack. But early on when we want to clear mines, enemies will probably be only one, in one or two stacks and Death Ripple I do believe is kind of a costly spell. So I think we're gonna take the one Black Knight. Uh, if you have any other opinions, please feel free to comment on the VOD on YouTube or in stream. So we're gonna start with normal difficulty and I'm gonna let this roll and I'm gonna have to excuse myself really quick because I forgot to uh, do something before streaming and it might mess up my stream. Okay, so we're gonna do mute. Our nation's goal was to kill the man who banished us from Erathia. However, Nyan and Aeophil's subsequent invasion has done us an unexpected favor. Erathia is strewn with the dead. For the necromancers, this is a season of harvest. This is a season for war. Queen Catherine is a formidable foe. To defeat Erathia's remaining military, we will need a tactician greater than her. We have a plan. An ironic plan. While Catherine organizes the last stages of her war with Nyon and Yofel, you will sneak into Erathia and locate King Griffinheart's grave. Be wary. The region is occupied by scattered Erathian. When the gravesite is found, we will resurrect the dead king and make him our pawn. With King Griffinheart commanding our armies, his former home will become our land of the dead. Okay, I'm back. So, um, our spies tell us that the tomb of King Griffinheart is located in the town of Stonecastle, near Erathia's northern border, in a place that was clear of the war with Nyon and Neofall. Seek this place out and capture it, so that we may animate the body of the king. You must also seek out the spirit of oppression and bring it to Stonecastle as it is one of the items we need for the ritual to animate the king's body. But you must act quickly. The body will be of no use to us if its spirit departs. Okay. The problem with this, with this scenario, is that it's timed. And I hate timed scenarios. Oh my gosh. Um, now, here's the deal. You know that I've been using a lot of um, uh, heroes with the uh, movement speed skill, which I always forget the name of. It's not pathfinding. Pathfinding is the other one. Um, okay, so the thing is that if I want to use uh, to do Necropolis, I can't really employ uh, an enemy, uh, a hero from uh, another town as my main because Necropolis, in order to work at its full potential, needs someone with necromancy and others, other heroes can really learn necromancy. So, we're gonna take a look at what we have on offer. We have Isra. Uh, oh my god. You bastard. So specialty necromancy, advanced necromancy. This is actually the hero that I wanted to get. Uh, either him or there was another uh, hero who was specializing in um, necromancy. So either them or I'm going to show you if we have a tavern here. 
So we have Thunt. Oh, Animate Dead. I should actually recruit Thunt and get a Scholar to get that spell as soon as possible. Okay, so we have... I'm going to show you right here. Okay, necromancers, necromancers, come on. Actually, I'm looking for Death Knights. Uh, oh, yeah. So, uh, Demoniacs, okay. So, um, we have, okay, Sandro is uh, going to be featured in another campaign. <laughs> He's kind of cool. Um, yeah, Vidonia was my other option. Vidomina, excuse me. Um, now, yeah, she's a good support hero. Uh, whoa, that's only... That's all we can get? Like, that's the full selection of necromancers that I have available to recruit? Okay, so... Um, fudge, I don't remember I don't remember the name of the, the guy that I wanted to tell you about. Uh, basically, uh, he is the hero who specializes in skeletons. He is widely considered to be fucking overpowered as shit. And I can confirm this. I can confirm that he is actually overpowered as shit. Um, and it wor he works really well, especially in, in a campaign like Hero, uh, like Restoration of Arathia. Because we don't have the combination artifacts yet. If we had the combination artifacts, we could do the combination artifact for necromancy amplifying artifacts that then lets us resurrect enemies as leeches instead of skeletons and then uh, that particular hero specialized in skeletons becomes less useful overall but it he would have been very very good in uh, in this campaign right now but I it seems that he is not available in the recruitment list because this is a very very limited recruitment list for uh, Necropolis. So we have Thunt and we are gonna we're actually gonna spring for a few heroes right off the bat. We are going to recruit Thunt after we take care of this guy and send him out I think or uh, we can just do that. Okay, um, We're gonna recruit Thunt and we're gonna queue up this other guy with Scholar. Why? Because we really really want animate that really really want animate that uh, I it's it's a very high chance that I would get it on um, building the mage guild up but I don't want to take a chance also you will notice that Septiena has death ripple specialty death ripple so that means he actually has the spell so we are going to bypass the um, reward the starting reward thing with this little strategy so we're gonna recruit Thunt and give his units over. Let's see, so Black Knights, I think, no, this, this is the unupgraded version, I think. Yeah, it isn't the upgraded version. So uh, we have Thunt, he has Animate Dead. 15 mana cost. Animate Dead reanimates. Any destroyed undead when they select a group by restoring a fixed number of hit points to the target. I think, again, the uh, um, way forward is to get at least um, advanced earth magic, and after advanced earth magic, the resurrection becomes permanent, just like normal resurrection, except animate dead is cheaper and lower level, so it's easier to get and cast. Okay. So, uh, what do we want to do? Oh my god, uh, the estate allows you to recruit vampires we, and we can actually build one already. The only problem is I really want to get a town hall first and secure my economy. Estate, okay, let's talk about this. Skeletons are actually really fucking good for a level 1 unit. Why? Because you can get hordes of them. Hordes! You can get... I played a game in which I, without cheating and without uh, recruiting through diplomacy, I had a stack of uh, 32,000 skeletons. 32,000 skeletons. Skeleton warriors, that is. Of course, the upgraded version. And I was still, I was still generating more. Um, if you have the hero that is specialized in skeletons, they will get boosted even more 
and when you get hit by that stack you're not gonna survive no matter what kind of a unit you are level 7 unit with a hot hero behind your ass it does not matter you get hit in the face with that you are fucking dead and yeah that's why I miss that particular hero but we can make do with a necromancy focused hero as well and that's what we have zombies suck they're slow they have a lot of hit points but they're slow and being slow they slow down our heroes as well we're probably gonna be using them early on as meat shields and then we're gonna use the skeleton transformer which by the way it costs only 1000 so taking that would have been a damn waste uh, as our starting reward um, we're gonna transform the zombies into skeletons unupgraded zombies into skeletons so this is never going to be upgraded ever nobody cares tomb of souls we have whites and uh, i believe wraiths the upgraded version um they're decent they have an interesting set of uh, passive abilities and they're flying which we kind of need in this town because we don't we have one other flying creature actually no we have uh, the wraiths we have the vampires who are also flying and we have the dragons which are also flying we're doing okay for flying creatures um they're okay they their stats aren't that great uh, i'm really on the fence about this creature if if we were playing with that hero with uh, specialty in skeletons we might consider transforming unupgraded race into skeletons as well which i know sounds like a waste but when that guy and I, I'm really sorry for forgetting his name because I really want to recommend you getting that hero but when that guy gets to like level 30 or something the skeletons actually have stats that are comparable to a level 6 creature like without getting boosted by his uh, attack and defense and other stuff that gets added on and damn you know so uh, well I mean uh, their attack, their best attack and defense is comparable to a level 6 creature. Sadly, their uh, base damage and health obviously is going to still be um, that of a level 1 creature. But uh, for some numbers, you know. Uh, and the estate, which is what I wanted to talk about. Oh my god, I'm flipping out. Um, vampires are my favorite damn unit in the entire game just i mean uh, i really love archangels and, and arc devils but vampires <sighs> they perfectly embody every every passive that i would ever want and my uh, my overall strategy for playing heroes of my image you can have vampires you, um I believe master vampires or elder vampires I think it's master vampires that's the upgraded version and just with those in your army you can actually play the game and not lose a single unit you don't even have to cast resurrection spells why because they resurrect themselves they also have no enemy retaliation when upgraded and they're flying so and they have decent stats too so this this is the best unit in necropolis and one of the best units in the entire game in my opinion and i think general consensus agrees with me the mausoleum is going to be our ranged units leeches uh leeches have a cloud attack a death cloud attack that only damages living units in proximity to the main target i do believe so uh, unlike the fireball from Magogs in Inferno, who da which damages everyone around the target, and what, uh, which means that if you surround this particular target with your own units, you're gonna screw yourself over with one of those blasts from uh, Magog. Leeches will not damage your units if they're near uh, an enemy. But that also means that if your enemy has a nice cluster of undead units, your cloud will not work on them your aoe attack but they're pretty nice and there's a combination artifact in later uh, expansion packs that um, 
uh, sorry, I forgot to get my clock, uh, that um, lets you resurrect leeches instead of skeletons. So, just a sec. So, uh, leeches can be very powerful too, if you get that artifact, but otherwise uh, they're kind of scarce. Hall of Darkness, you can recruit Black Knights. Uh, Black Knight that we already have uh, comes from there. Level 6 creature, pretty powerful. Uh, Black Knights and Dread Knights are actually pretty good units. They're pretty good units. They, they have nice stats, I think. And an interesting passive, which sadly you can't rely on. Uh, Dragon Vault uh, creates Bone Dragons and Ghost Dragons. I don't really like this level 7 creature of um, Necropolis. But it's better than some others. It's worse than a, a worse than the top tier ones. Um, so yeah, it's it's not it's it's not the best level seven creature. I'm gonna be honest. It's not that fast and not that durable. It's kind of blue. But you know, it it could be worse. And we have the vampire situation, which is just overpowered as shit and we have the uh, skeleton warriors which are really nice for level one units and we have the mausoleum which is pretty good and we have the hall of darkness with the black knights which is also pretty good so i've been talking a lot again uh, we want to get the town hall for the um, bonus gold okay and i'm going to send Mr. Thunt out to do some scouting. But let's read his description, his uh, story first. No one is really sure how long Thunt has been alive. Some say he fought for Arathia during the Timber Wars, but fell prey to a vampire during, during an all-night march through Phinaxia. Interesting. Okay, so we don't want to lose him to anything because he has that uh, animated spell. Let's see, the seers... Oh, no, this is a uh, rickety hut. You enter a rickety hut and talk to the magician who lives there. He tells you of places near and far which made you near journeys. Yes. Interesting. Okay. So there's that. Let's see. They have uh, they have a fair few units defending that castle. Mm, uh, not many units mobile yet. Which is fine. I think, I think our access will be something like uh, go down here and then up through there I think hopefully there isn't like a direct path through here because if there is we're gonna get fucked up man we're gonna get fucked up uh, okay so we want some lines really fast good and the next thing I wanted to do <coughs> was recruit this guy Septiena basic scholar we want to train him up a bit to get a uh, higher scholar so he can uh, pass the uh, animate that spell to our main dude. Yorp. And recruit. Also, this guy is a death knight, right? Yeah, but he starts with a uh, spell book. That's another cool thing about uh, Necropolis. Even their might heroes start with a spell book. So I'm gonna send him this way. Oh, by the way, let's see. What level is actually animated third level right okay and basic scholar is one in second okay so we only need one more uh, train train up into this and I think we do need wisdom we also need wisdom to be able to learn that spell okay <clears throat> what does what is the story for Septiena Septiena suffers from what many call wasted magic as she seems to draw more life energy from her victims than she transfers into her minions. Some claim that she keeps the residual energy for herself, which may explain why she does not appear to age. Huh, interesting. The triple, it's, it's a fairly interesting story. Okay. Ah, just shy. Cursed Temple, we want to get those because they're unit. Yeah. Oh, and I want to see what what is in the Witch Hut. Okay. So, let's see. Um, nothing else here. 
let's go down here and see what's going on. Okay, so there is a garrison, so I need to watch out for invasions through here. There was also an underground layer, so I don't know what the heck is going on in there, but we're gonna have to find out. First turn, lots of talking. Who's surprised? Nobody. The fun thing, really, which I don't know if anyone actually realizes, is I'm actually a very quiet person in real life. <laughs> because I can talk about video games. Believe it or not, video games are still kind of taboo in Romania. So, yeah. Uh, Marletto Tower, we have a horde of skeletons. I actually want to approach that horde with a uh, strong hero. Maybe they'll join me. You know? Okay, so I want to go directly here and see what this will teach me. Basic water magic. Excellent. I want that. I want that. So I will get that on my main dude. And uh, by the way, Isra. Let's read his or her story. Isra may not be the greatest spellcaster in Deja, but the armies she leads always seem to have a disproportionate number of skeletons compared to others. That's because of specialty necromancy. Yep, yep. That is some cool shit right there, specialty necromancy. And basic water magic now. Yes, I want some whites, and I'm gonna recruit some skeletons too. Uh, let's do a little bit of unit arrangement because we don't have tactics yet. We want the zombies in the middle because they are slow as shit. Uh, yeah. Okay, that seems about right for now. Let's build something. Whoops, wrong structure. So we have City Hall, first aid tents, that's kind of, <laughs> that's kind of s silly. First aid tents for an undead army, uh, uh, yeah, awkward. <clears throat> so we want to build the blacksmith first, uh, actually we want to build the mage guild, in case we get some decent spells, let's see. So we have stone skin, curse. The spell, magic arrow, and best for last, haste. That is a good one. Okay. Screw you and your chest of gold. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, yes, I would like to recruit skeletons. Okay, let's see. So we wanna test the borders, that is to just go as far down as possible, to have as much vision as possible. These guys seem to have a decent-ish amount. Oh my god, I boxed myself in! <laughs> Fuck my life. Uh, it happens. It bloody well happens. So, I'm gonna do this with the marketplace. And uh, if it comes to it, fuck economy, I am going to get the uh, vampire estate by the end, before the week turn, so I have more vampires. They're so good. They are so good. Okay, so we have that. And we're gonna go back with this guy. Excellent. In my younger days, I'd have done this myself, but I need your help. A friend of mine recently had a family heirloom stolen and wants to find it. The problem is that it looks exactly like the pendant of this passion. Please bring me any item that fits that description. Even if the artifact is not the family heirloom, I will reward your efforts. Old man voice. Uh, okay. <clears throat> so, I could bust through this garrison. I could? Maybe. Question is, do I wanna? Hell yeah. 
Heather the Seer. Oh, damn it. Should have been an old woman voice. Okay, so uh, I'm kind of thinking you have another Seer set. What the fuck? So it says here, completing the Seer's quest will allow you to carry the rewards to the next scenario. We have two Seers, Heather the Seer and another Seer who is not named yet. Uh, let's build something first. Oops, wrong structure again. Uh, blacksmith. Excellent. So what do we want to do? That's the question. Do we want to go through the garrison here? Do we want to go through the garrison here? Do we want to go through the underground? I think the idea would be so stone castle i I'm, I'm thinking that stone castle is just like uh it's not supposed to be a main threat it's just part of the objective right so we, we should get stone castle and probably the spirit of oppression is somewhere in the underground that's what i'm thinking you know that is what i am thinking about this so um garrison huh Kind of want to wait until the week is done and then attack with some vampires. That's what I'm, I'm going for right now. I want to go down here because it's closer to the enemy and I want to at least be able to see their movements. The good thing is that I have a fairly strong army. Problem is I don't have any ranged units. That's the problem here. Whites, one death knight. A lot of walking dead to throw at the uh, enemy. Me, Crender fashion. And 82 skeletons, which is actually my main damage force right now. I don't know. I don't know. Going up would be nice, but I. Mm, Garrison. Okay, what. One thing we do need to do is collect the spells we just built. I think you can learn level 1 spells without having wisdom, right? Yep, yep, yep. Uh, wisdom is... starts at level 3, doesn't it? 3, 4, 5. Yeah, yeah, that should be it. Okay, so that's enough for turn 2... 4, huh? Screw your chests. I don't like you getting a, an advantage so fast. Okay, so... We're actually gonna send Septiana like here ish and build something fun. We're gonna ah, uh, why do I keep clicking on that? Uh, city Hall for 2k income per turn. It's very nice. I'm really, really gonna build the estate before the week is up, though, honestly, the master vampires are the better units here and that is what I'm trying to go for oh, let me angle the microphone a little bit yeah yeah yep yeah, yep yeah. so um, I'm I'm thinking that I'm going to I don't want to wait though I don't want to wait though so who are the archers going to hit first of all second of all I really wish that I had like some way of knowing how many units are in the garrison. Usually if you... I would like to have visions I mean, but usually if you have a garrison with only two units stacks, it won't be a lot of units. When you have a lot of uh, unit types, unit stacks, then that's gonna mean it's gonna be more units. They, um, they're pretty nice in regards to that. Uh, when building maps, usually, um, I don't know. I do not know. Garrison. I think I might attack into this. If nothing else, then I will reconsider ne next turn. <sighs> 
so capital requires a castle so we have a citadel but we're also going to build a, uh, an estate we are going to build an estate you're going to say well why don't didn't you build the estate beforehand also we need to build a necromancy amplifier ah shit man Decisions, decisions. Uh, we want the citadel. Yeah, we'll build the citadel for now. Okay, more units equals more fun. Okay, you, you're going to wait here for resupply purposes. You are going to actually go into the town for now because your scouting days are done. I, I'm thinking of attacking. I'm thinking of attacking like I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. What what do you guys think? I don't know. I'm I'm not sure. I'm I'm thinking that it's going to be a spectacular failure, is what I'm thinking. So um crap. Kinda wanna wait until the week is done. And I wanna get I wanna get some vampires in there. That's what I'm thinking. And I'm gonna... The tactic would be to haste the vampires, uh, tank with the skeletons, and hope for the best. The thing is, losing a lot of units early on can really set you back a lot. And I don't wanna get set back a lot. <laughs> Okay. Um, lots of pikemen. The thing is, though, that there is a unit in front there. I don't know if it would join the red ones, if the red hero, if they marched on me. But I think they would have to go through there at least, which is something that would be nice. Crap, man. I, I'm, I'm gonna wait for vampires. I'm going to wait for, for vampires. Let's see how fast that can be. Oh, we don't know yet. Crap. Okay, so I'm going to do... <clears throat> I'm gonna send Septian over here. Okay, I'm gonna move this guy over there-ish. And we're gonna wait until the end of the week. Like that. Let's see how fast is that. We can make it eh, just one short. Okay. So it should be like that. It might it might end up uh, poorly because he's gonna take some zombies and that will slow him down probably. But uh, for now that's good. Uh, mausoleum, we could build a mausoleum for ranged units. Which would be useful in this situation. But I really want the estate. 100% want the estate. So we have four vampires here. They're kind of costly. But yeah, let's uh, take a look at their stats right now. Undead and no enemy retaliation uh, without the upgrade. They're pretty good. When they're upgraded, they have nine speed uh, among other things. So they they get really really beefy. Uh, what will be the upgrade cost? Um, requires necromancy amplifier. Well, shit. Uh, okay, in turn for now. Let's see, so we have. 10 vampires to recruit, which is really, really nice. We have a castle to build, necromancy amplifier to build, and then equated. Do we have the other requisite resources? Yes, we do actually. Gosh darn it, man. I mean, bankrupt but if I get vampire lords ah I have been so long since I played necropolis so if we do get vampire lords that's pretty much gonna win us the game uh, so I'm gonna do that <laughs> I'm straight up just gonna do that I'm going for that <clears throat> okay so we're gonna recruit these guys okay and next turn we're gonna turn them into vampire lords and when we do that when we do that it's game over 
Yes, game. Open. N10. <clears throat> Okay, upgraded estate. Nobody cares about anything other than the upgraded estate. Upgrade them. Oh my god, yes. So look at this. Uh, whoops, I need something, yeah. So undead drains life, which is the resurrection mechanic. 9 speed, 30 health, 5 to 8 damage, attack and defense 10. You know, for a level 4 creature, I don't think that's pretty bad. <laughs> and only militarization still. So yeah. We have that going for us. Let's see. Uh, do we want more whites? Can we recruit all the whites? We don't. We can't. You know what? Zombies aren't gonna do any anything. So we're gonna do this. We're gonna do this, and then we're gonna send a thunt out after we recruit some more skeletons because they're cheap. Okay, we're gonna do this right here. Oh, ah, should have stopped him right before, but it's okay. Ooh, yeah, 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 nice. Split that stack. Problem is, he doesn't have any movement points to do the trade, so I'm gonna have to do the trade for my main hero, which is kinda sucky. Uh, and Vampire Lords. God, yes! Yeah. Orgasm. <coughs> anyway. Um, yeah. This is just so. And we're gonna go this way. First, collect our resources. Nice, sulfur. And we're gonna break through here. Um, I do believe Cursed Ground doesn't let you cast spells of a level higher than 2 or something. Either way, Vampire Lords, bitches. So yeah. We can just send them forward. They can take hits, and they don't give a shit. They just don't give a shit. So, send them forward, send uh, the Death Knight forward as well, and we're gonna do defense on everyone else, I think. Uh, movement 4, movement 4, <coughs> um, I think we're gonna do defense on everyone else, Th this should be enough to kill everyone with the other units, defense. <laughs> You silly sons of bitches. Oh, you have no idea. The world of hurt that you are getting yourselves into. Yes. You are all going to die. Every little last one of you. <laughs> I love necromancy, I don't know, it's a thing I like uh, in, in, in uh, fantasy stuff. Yes. So good. Um, hmm. In the turn. And now we actually have to scramble. Ugh, we can't afford to scramble, but we have to scramble for uh, a castle. Now, I, I would normally adv advocate building the um, cover of darkness. But I don't think that the AI is affected by it. So, I don't know. I'm, we're just gonna wait, I think. Let, let me just calculate something. So we need 5k for this. We're gonna need two more turns for it, minimum. Cover of darkness would not affect that. After that, we will need five more turns for the castle. I th think we can do it like this I mean for the capital so yeah we'll do we'll do the cover of darkness and chance it affecting AI I don't think it will but if it does it would be a very very big boost to us okay oh yeah shit uh, would be nice if I found some more gold to be able to recruit the remaining whites so they aren't lost you know so 
we're gonna see about that. Crystal, very nice. Okay. Oh, 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 yeah. I should have I should have sent a backup hero to do some scouting, but I don't think the map is large enough to recruit uh, warrant two heroes scouting. Okay, let's see. So we can't build anything right now, right? Right, castle. Castle. Okay. Israel. Very nice. Gems and another garrison. Okay. I think I am going to try these swordsmen. They are melee units and we have the vampire lords. Did I mention how good the vampire lords are? I don't think you realize. Uh, okay, so. You're waiting. Uh, everyone is waiting where they are supposed to be waiting. Actually, we should give Thant uh, water magic, because why not? And then. It looks a little bit like the enemy is confused by the uh, fog. Oh, I didn't actually tell you what this does. Cover of Darkness. The Cover of Darkness cov covers your city with a permanent shout to all other players. It's a very big shroud. In a map like this, it it should be reaching like around here-ish. Obviously, the sight from the hero and their town still pierces, but it renews the fog of war in uh, quite a wide area, so he might be paralyzed and not know what to do. Uh, it might actually cover the entire map, uh, but I, I think it's more like 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 so, you know. Uh, okay, we want the mine, and we want to challenge the garrison. Okay. Vampire Lords forward, as usual. And our Black Knight. Not the Dark Knight, but the Black Knight. Oh, go fuck yourself. <laughs> Two skeletons perish. Uh, oh! I didn't see... Any skeletons getting resurrected last time? I, I don't remember. Huh. Okay. Nice. Yeah, do that curse. So, curses enemies. That is a, a very nice passive, but... You can't really rely on it because it's an after hit. It's an after hit, I do believe. I don't know if it procs before the retaliation. That would be interesting to find out. Excellent. So, how many skeletons do we get? Six skeletons, says right here. I didn't notice. Okay. And we're actually going to challenge the swordsmen. A pack of swordsmen. Because we have the vampire lords and vampire lords don't give a shit build a castle yes sir how many vampire lords do we get per week eight eight vampire lords okay i don't know if you realize how good that is so we are doing a pack of swordsmen uh <laughs> i mean we're killing them <laughs> Uh, so we have 9 and 9. Now theoretically, they are on the same level as the Vampire Lords. What they don't know is that I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to uh, alter the odds a little bit. Let's see, so we have 12, 13, we have 12, yeah, that, yeah they're about the same... They're about the same uh, tier, except these guys are upgraded. So I'm thinking stone skin, but I'm also thinking curse. And we can't afford both. And we also can't afford uh, haste if we're doing that. Moves all spell effects from a friendly creature. Why does it, it would have been nice if it worked on enemy creatures. So anyway, um, we're actually going to wait and see how they move first. Did they move in within range? Yes, I think they did. 
wait, wait, wait. Okay, so you are going forward because I really don't care about your lives. Uh, you are also going about here -ish. Okay, and you, you're gonna go like, s how fast are you? Five, and then five and six, shit. Uh, I think you can do this. Nine. Damage is six and nine. Nine times nine is how the hell much? 81? Uh, they can't kill a black knight. So I could consider softening them up with the black knight. But I don't really wanna. Like 37 damage, it would only kill one swordsman. So I'm gonna. I don't really wanna because I don't wanna be in range of the other one, which will kill me. Um, yeah, we have that. We're gonna defend for now, and we're gonna do. We're gonna lead with. With our um, vampire lord. Inflict minimum damage in combat. Okay, six, round six. So nine times six. Six fifty-four. I think that's acceptable. So we're gonna do curse on these guys. I'm gonna hit these guys from below. Nice. Okay. Now I'm getting a little worried. Ah, yeah. I should have. I should have done stone skin on the vampire lords. Yeah. Damn it. Okay, so we have five and six and four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna take a hit in the skeletons from these guys. But I I really don't care about the skeletons as much as I do about the vampire lords at this point. Um, who can I blast? I can blast. I can blast these guys actually, and I will. Nice. Vampire Lords attack again, good, and uh, I, I really want to wait with uh, Black Knight because I don't want to be in range of the other one, uh, the other stack. They would do like six and fifty-four. I mean, it wouldn't be that bad, but I really don't want to don't want to engage with them yet. Okay, one Vampire Lord resurrects himself. You know, that's the beauty. Yeah, yeah, only seven skeletons, that's okay. And they died, because skeletons... Skeletons stack OP, obviously. Uh, let's see. Shit, I, I'm not going to be able to reach with the skeletons. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull these guys back. I'm gonna pull these guys back. Uh, yeah, so it's like that. Pull the skeletons back there. I'm gonna I'm actually gonna send the zombies forward I think nobody cares about the zombies let's see so yeah and we're gonna do black knight too well, they're already cursed so it's not that big of a deal but we can uh, we can do some damage and I kind of want to do some damage with the black knights right now nice one sort of 34 damage so yeah they can take a few hits um okay hit again two swordsmen perish i think we can actually get uh, get another one yeah 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 right, it should be okay 23 okay yeah zombies nobody cares excellent excellent we're gonna wait see what happens so 27 to 40 um i actually don't wanna i don't wanna uh, no, I, no, I don't wanna. I wanna defend. I wanna move the skeletons back. It would have been, uh, so yeah, the hero that I was, I keep talking about, whose name I damn forget. I think it starts with a G, G, what, um, whatever. We'll, we'll see about that later. He would also give the skeletons a plus one movement rate, and upgraded to skeleton warriors. They get really good. Sadly, we don't have that hero on the options menu. Okay. Vampire Lords, though. And should finish them. Good. 
uh, acceptable losses. Expert necromancy basic navigation. <laughs> yeah, no, no basic navigation. Let's see, so magic gesture. End the turn. Magic gesture. Blind! Oh yes, so good. Also, I, I do believe blind does not work on undead units. It's a fun thing about that unit type. We're gonna take these. We're not gonna recruit them because whatever, but uh, because I actually because I don't have the money for it. <laughs> I'm saving up for the capital, remember? But yeah. Oh, and I wanna I wanna get the treasure chest. I wanna get the treasure chest. Nice. Things are going pretty well so far, I think. Okay, we need some knowledge. We're gonna get some EXP, advanced water magic, and we're gonna get money from this thing. Oh! After scouring the area, you fell upon a hidden chest containing the ancient artifact necklace, necklace of swiftness. Oh my god. This boosts the speed of all your units by plus one. This is the shit right here, man. This is the hot shit. And another seer. I mean, uh, okay. So, completing the seer's quest will allow you to carry the reward to the next scenario. <sighs> Do all of them count? I know three seers already. Do all of them count? Do none of them count? Have I not seen the actual seer yet? The one that. I get to bring to the next scenario the word of any talk words uh, what I'm gonna forgo the whites because it would screw up my plan to bad Pick of the art work art work and it looks like it does look like the fog of war affects my enemy because he's been stuck there forever probably broke the AI a bit <laughs> Um, and I think I'm going to be able to take the these towns now, which will be nice because I will stop having to worry about them uh, invading me. And the, no, 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 wait, 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 wait. Yes, thank you. And the turn. Okay, let's see what the seer wants. I've spent my life buying, selling and collecting artifacts, but lately I've been spending so much money acquiring new pieces I can hardly turn a profit. I think I might be able to start mass producing artifacts, but I've got to have one first to copy. If you could bring me the Pendant of Total Recall, I will reward your efforts. Now the thing is, I've, sp I've been spending so much money acquiring new pieces that I can hardly turn a profit. Now, does that mean that uh, people are buying for a, a lot of smaller margin uh, than he is making a profit on? Because if so, then there's something wrong with your business model, dude. You should be charging people enough to make a living off selling them shit, you know? Um, either that or he's one of those weird people who goes to the supermarket to stock up his uh, little corner store, which is just so. What? What? I don't, I don't get those people. Anyway, uh, okay. Yeah, I like this because it's a very, very long way around by the looks of it. But we're gonna be able to break into here and do some damage. Uh, I'm gonna have to recruit another hero to see what the witch hat is all about here. Uh, and we are going to be there just in time to collect the capital and then have enough money to recruit a hero. Nice. Okay. Ah, fuck me! <laughs> okay, so treasure chest. I want... I would really like the gold right now. Please, thank you. Really, I, I mean, I'm gonna be honest. I would really like the gold right now. Okay. Um... Let's see, what does the underground say? We have crystal caverns, huh? Cool. Um, now, 
it would be a freaking disaster if this actually does connect there but we still have vampire lords in the main town which we haven't recruited so that's that let's get the whites though excellent and I'm actually going to just get this actually and then I wanna I wanna bring him over to this little place to get the XP and you know so on back to building stuff that actually matters um, I really want the mausoleum for leeches I want the tomb of souls I want to get the upgraded cursed temple and then I want to work on the black knight dwelling the hall of darkness so mausoleum first okay very nice let's see the stats of this thing attack skill 10 defense skill 10 shots 12 damage 11 to 13 uh, health 30 and speed 6 undead death cloud attack you know pretty good for a range unit okay oh my god a pack of zealots i am not going to engage that uh i mean i technically i could but I don't want. I mean, they're really strong. They're really, really strong, and I don't have the. I don't have the units yet that I need to be able to comfortably engage that. So I'm not going to do it. They would cause me like probably significant losses. I don't even. I don't even remember how much a pack is. But if there's 30 zealots there, they're gonna fuck me up. <laughs> it's not gonna. It's not even gonna be funny, man. Not even gonna be funny if there's 30 zealots there. So yeah, let's see. Uh, da -da -da -da. Okay, build something else. Let's see. So we have we can build the Hall of Darkness, which is nice. We also have the resource silo. We're not hurting for wood and ore right now, though, which is nice. So we're just gonna do <coughs> Hall of Darkness, I think. Yep, very nice. Very nice. Our army is starting to shape up a little bit. Okay, also undead are not affected by morale, so we can get some uh, archers from here and just have them, because archers, they're ranged. Uh, and even if we don't like them anymore, we can use the skeleton transformer to turn them into something else more useful to our cause. Yep. Yes, so we can upgrade the uh, upgrade the Hall of Darkness. We'll do that later. But right now, I want the Tomb of Souls. Okay, very nice. Weekly white growth is fifteen. Uh, yep. Let's see. Advanced scholar. Yeah, but I uh, I still need wisdom from somewhere. Still need wisdom from somewhere. <sighs> So let's see, we are going to go down here. Ah, okay, so these connect, interesting, I didn't know that. Okay. What do we do, did we want to do? We can build the resource silo, but we're not hurting for uh, those specific kinds of resources right now seems like it's pretty conservative in the expenditure of those kinds of resources all prerequisites for this building have been met you know we can actually uh, we uh, we don't have enough money for it but we're gonna be able to do that next week which is nice upgraded hall of darkness the hall of darkness allows you to recruit red knights i mean that's a good investment um i want to get this this thing though we can get the resource silo, but uh, I mean, for plus one wood and plus one ore. I don't know. I don't think it's really worth it. So, we're gonna do Cursed Temple. Uh, yeah, so 5, 4, 1, 3, 6, and 4. 6, 6, 1, 3, 6, and 5. Good upgrade. And Zeta. All the rings increase in population. Uh, 
Okay, we're gonna grab a sulfur mine too. And we're gonna engage these marksmen, which is gonna be tricky, but I think we can pull it off. The marksmen, awed by the power of your forces, begin to scatter. Do you wish to pursue engagement? Now, um, remember when I said I don't like to engage ranged units because they always cause you losses? In this case, because we have necromancy, it might be worth it to engage uh, ranged creatures because we will still get skeletons back even if we lose some. Let's test that theory out, shall we? So we have this. Uh, and we're gonna do, I think we can actually, yeah, we're gonna do haste on the vampire lords so they can engage. Uh, send them right there. Nice. And we're gonna send our black knights in to tank some shots, hopefully. But there's no guarantee. Eh, whatever, fuck you. Um, okay. Defend. <laughs> funny. Uh, they're very funny people. So, right back at you, bro. Uh, defend. Defend. And I do think that necromancy, it, it works on your own units as well. Right? I think so. So, they killed some live units. Well, great. We're gonna resurrect them as undead. Thanks for the contribution. Excellent. So 3 and 26 and we are going to get 10 skeletons. Pretty good. Pretty good. Okay, so that comes out right next to my castle. Excellent. And we want to build... We're going to build a dragon vault eventually, but uh, not that in a hurry to do it. Upgraded Hall of Darkness and upgraded Mausoleum. Uh... Rates. So what do we want to build from this wonderful selection? Definitely not the upgraded graveyard, I can tell you that much. <laughs> um, uh, let's build a skeleton transformer. I mean, why not? We'll transform some zombies and stuff. Okay. I'm gonna send this guy over like so. I'm gonna pop Thunt out to collect some units. Isra. General direction. Decide later. And we can get the Dragon Vault. Oh, Unearthed Graves. Oh, yeah, that's nice. We can get the Dragon Vault. I don't know if it's really worth it, but I mean, I, I told you, bone dragons and ghost dragons are kind of shitty, but we're going to have to get it eventually anyway, because we want the uh, unit production. So let's see, 150 health speed, 9, 25, 50 damage, attack skill and defense skill sucks. Undead, minus 120 enemy morale, eh, well, I suppose for the minus 20 enemy morale, it kind of is worth it. Just have one in your army and still get the bonus. I suppose it's acceptable. Okay. Nice. Nice. Let's see, what else can we build? Unearth Graves. Upgraded Tomb of Souls. We can build an upgraded Tomb of Souls. Sure, why not? Let's see what the upgrade is. So, undead and regenerating. The regenerating means that at the end of the turn, I do believe, uh, or at the start of the next turn, I don't remember, uh, you, well, whatever, same, no, it's not the same thing. It's not at the start of their next turn, I think. Uh, they will regenerate to back, back to full health if they are damaged. They don't have a lot of health though, so it's not that good. 3 to 5, uh, 7, trains enemy mana and 2 more speed. Mm, you know. It's something. It's something. I'm gonna be kind of short on gold though. So, yeah, let's do this. And I'm gonna visit and get some new units. And then we're gonna conquer this and then we're gonna go underground and then we're gonna have a lot of fun with killing everything. Uh, ok. 
Okay. Yeah, one other thing that I need to keep in mind is, uh, and I need to tell you guys about, you um, turn the zombies, or Walking Dead in this, <laughs> yeah, speaking of the series, anyway, um, and comics, uh, you turn the Walking Dead into skeletons, and it actually frees up a slot so you can resurrect basic skeletons. Because you only get basic skeletons. If you want to resurrect upgraded skeletons, you get you do that at a reduced rate, so you kind of lose out on it. And I don't like that. I don't like losing out on stuff. I don't like it. Uh, upgraded Hall of Darkness. Um, yeah, we're gonna go with that. I would like to upgrade the uh, ranged creatures, leeches, but I'm not gonna wait for that. So, let's see. Upgrade. That's good. Upgrade these guys. That's good. We're gonna skeleton transform you guys. Yeah. Owie. Okay, and we're gonna skeleton transform you. Oh, no, no, no. That would be stupid. Let's see. <laughs> that would be stupid. No, we wanna transform the zombies. Okay, and we're gonna recruit every single vampire that we can afford which is not much <laughs> shit uh yeah we're gonna have to wait a turn to get more vampires if nothing else like just the vampires man just the vampires okay ends the turn okay, now we're gonna do a little bit of a flip here Blind, nice. Uh, you can have this. Okay, yeah. vampires. Uh, still not everyone. Still not everyone, but we can upgrade the knight. Pretty nice. Okay. Okay. That's good. Um, would have been nice to recruit that. And we miss a round of building, but it's okay. I'm gonna send you down here because I wanna I wanna I wanna reach this area. I really wanna reach that area and just crush my enemy. Okay, what do we have on him? Not much. Not much. Um I'm actually gonna send him over right there I think. You we're gonna send you over other way around okay anything to build on earth graves that's a good that's a good idea good. I don't like to leave so many units unrecruited but I think we can do it with what we've got right now I think we can do it and if not I'm just gonna come back a little bit later and recruit some more um, haste easiest ah come on uh, I'm gonna have to switch that positioning okay I actually want them to get hit actually want them to get hit. Defend. Oh, fuck you! Two... Ah, fuck you! <laughs> uh. 
<coughs> so much morale. Why? Why so much morale? I'm fighting against a horde of undead and you find the time to be brave. What the hell, man? Oh, I don't care. Eight skeletons, so we still win something. Okay, so um, we're gonna do that. <coughs> okay, and we're gonna attack into these guys. Of course, I wanna pursue them. I'm gonna farm them for extra creatures. Wait, 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 wait. I could have sent them forward, and I would actually actually gain from getting attacked because they just regenerate anyway, and. Uh, And I just I actually get a, an extra attack because of the retaliation. Okay, so um, shamelessly forward. <laughs> Wait. Dead. Defend, defend. Oh, 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 fuck you, don't care. Swipe. Swipe again. Excellent. 54 dead and 24 skeletons. So I think you're, you're starting to see why undead are, are so good. Oh oh oh! Damn it! I need I need I need uh, I need uh, I need a uh, scout ASAP. I need a scout ASAP. Come on! And can we recruit anyone interesting in town? Ooh, we have Clavius. Actually, he's a good guy with specialty gold, and we have Fidomina with some extra necromancy talent. Let's see how many. Completing the to win you must bring the spirit of oppression. It doesn't say anything about exporting heroes, which I am not liking much. I'm gonna do Clavius. And I think we have let's see if there's any other heroes that are gonna be freed up. For recruiting purposes. We have absolutely nobody. Straker, nobody cares. We have Vokial, specialty vampires. I would say he's good, but I don't like artillery. Moandor, specialty leeches. I would also say he's good, and I would recommend it for the um, combo with the uh, combo artifact that I was saying. But he has learning, and learning is shit. Uh, Charna, fairly okay. Not a good specialty. Tamika, I like her. And this is the one that I was talking about. Galthran. <sighs> Specialty skeletons. Specialty skeletons. Not like. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna queue up Galthran. And we're gonna do skeleton transform one of these. ASAP. Excellent. Excellent. Build definitely not not the upgraded graveyard because that would be wasting my resources. So we're gonna do. We're actually gonna like move here. We're gonna move. Ah, ah yes, I see. Okay, and you you're going to go over there. Nice. Ooh, ooh, nice. That's why that's why I wanted to send this guy over here, so that he will get the extra XP and hopefully get wisdom. We'll see. Lizard man population doubles. Let's see. Oh fuck me. Oh fuck me. I don't like that. Cut me off. Cut me off, man. I don't like that. Not nice. 
Okay, and I can't I can't even go back. Okay, let's see what's over there. Stern haste, okay. Nice to build. Upgrade the mausoleum. That's nice. Okay, we're gonna do that. Ah, oh, I, I forgot about building the... No, I did. I did. I thought I forgot to build the vault. It's fine. How, how much do we need for the upgraded one? Oh, okay. We would need mercury. I don't know if we're producing mercury. Let's check. We are not producing mercury. We are screwed. Uh... Uh, okay. So this should be easy. Let's uh, let's see. A warrior's tomb. That's cool. Let's just you know it. It has a purpose. It has a purpose, but it's not nice that it's back there. You know, like a prop. I like that. Nice map design. So we have like um, lots of dead people. Yeah, I see. I see dead people. I see a lot of dead people, and some more dead people. And uh, further, more de dead people. Um, yeah, lots of dead people. I see dead people. Um, I don't. I don't know. I don't know if it's like if anyone like cares about the dead people. So let's see. Uh, what is the damage risk here? They have a damage risk, but I could blind the archers, and I'm going to do just that. And we're gonna wait for now. Let's see. I think I think I'm gonna eat a spell, and there is a counterpart to the death ripple spell that only affects undead. And I think I'm gonna eat that, but there's nothing I can do about it. Absolutely nothing I can do about it. Oh, haste on the. Oh, that's nice. It's a decent tactic. Uh, let's see. Okay. Whoa, they reach way too far and I don't like it. I think we're gonna send them over here. Okay. Defend. And we're gonna lead with our vampire lords, as usual. Nice, 15 pikemen. Uh, what else do we wanna do? We actually wanna do stone skin on the vampire lords. Uh, bit of an upgrade. Okay, wait. And we're gonna do another attack on the, this stack. These swordsmen are actually kind of inconsequential. What? Wait, what? Oh, yeah, yeah. So, we attacked. It wasn't the retaliation, it was their attack. And we are actually down one Vampire Lord still. Wait. Yeah, 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 I don't like that. But we're actually gonna have to wait. How long are they blinded for? Uh, power 3. Uh, okay, I'm gonna have to send in the Whites, I think. I'm gonna have to send in the Whites. Defend, defend. What are their speeds? Okay, I'm gonna send them in like so. Oh, whoops, wrong button. Defend for now. I have no more mana, right? Yep. Wait. Attack the bigger stack. Resurrect two vampires. Very nice. Very nice. And we're just gonna tie up the archers for when they come out of uh, blind. Defend, defend, and defend. Uh, wait, because it's an another turn. Uh, these guys are going to come out of blind. They already have. Get some more Pac-Man. Not a problem. Let's see, so they have 10 health. 19 of them 
and they could do like two damage per I think they can kill some whites but I would rather strike first I think um, yeah okay, let's do that nice okay defend nice 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 defend and defend so we're gonna see the regeneration in action See Vampire Lords OP and regenerating whites. Uh, drains enemy mana, so I, we should have some mana. We should have some mana. Let's see how much. And regenerating, so they went back from two health to eighteen health. Uh, oh, oh! I guess it doesn't channel it to us; it just drains it. Okay, that's fine. Um, can wait. Nice. Defend, defend, and I outspeed them, so I'm gonna do this. I think the best it would be best to finish them off with the vampires because that way I, I get all the resurrections I need. Okay. Wait, and this, and we we already resurrected all the vampire rods, so we have no losses. A lot of casualties on the enemy side, which we will get hopefully. A lot of nice, juicy skeletons. Greater Gnoll's flame. Uh -huh. We want expert water magic, but we are basic offense. Yes, please. Thank you. Phew, that has been vanquished. I was gonna say I'm going to be very upset if we get some shitty skill <laughs> instead of uh, one of uh, the skills in my plan. And we got 65 skeletons. 65, man. OP. OP broken good. Uh, did we get? Oh, oh, oh! I think I think we queued up. Yeah, we queued him up. We didn't get him. Oh well. Oh well. Let's see, is he still in the list? The hero whose name I already forgot. Even though I played for months with him, basically. Galthran. Okay. Galthran. Um, right now, I'm actually thinking that it's worth it to get Straker even though he's pretty shit and then uh, get Galthran for it oh 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 yeah it's a one to one conversion so 16 for that's 20 uh, bodies <laughs> it's all about the bodies so we can get the ranger instead so it's 20 skeletons from him and we're gonna get Galthran What? Oh. I guess it's a. Ah, uh, I think it's a slot interdiction. Yeah, because it, uh, we already have a death knight in the list. Ah, I gotcha. I gotcha. It was a slot interdiction all along. We can't have two of the same type of hero in the recruitment post. Mm -hmm. I didn't realize that. Okay, so we're gonna get this guy. And we're gonna do. I don't think I can. Uh, yeah, I can. Nice. I didn't think I can sacrifice his last stack. So he's gonna do this, and we're gonna recruit Galthran. Because Galthran kicks ass, man. Galthran kicks ass. Look at this. So, uh, yeah, we have five and six, and five. So, yeah. So you get like extra stats from his passive, including at first level you already get plus one speed to your skeletons, which helps the marching speed of your army and lots of other cool stuff. Nice. And we're gonna, actually we're gonna start harvesting this town for uh, extra bodies. <laughs> because we're evil. Uh, okay. Mm, nothing really to do right now. 
Yeah. Yeah, let's just end the turn, I think. We can actually send Garthran in to kill some of the lizard men, get him some XP. But maybe next time. Oh, and we have some stories to read. So we have Garthran. Over the years, Garthran has developed new methods of cre creating and commanding skeletons, which provides him with a distinct advantage in combat. You can say that again. We have Clavius. Clavius's family was always prominent at the court of Deja, holding a great deal of land and political power. Being the eldest son, Clavius was sent to serve in the military, just as each of the eldest sons of his, in his family had done for generations. He serves willingly and well. Okay. And I think we have one hero in the town that we haven't read the story. Straker. Straker chose the dark path of necromancy, but it was soon discovered that his fighting skills by far outclassed his magical abilities. He serves now in the undead armies of Deja, hoping to one day join the ranks of true necromancers. Uh, well, you know, kind of a screwed up class system they have, but who am I to argue? So we have archers towers and uh, yeah we're gonna get some archers why you might ask why will you get some archers because we can turn them into skeletons later it's kind of a heartless way of looking at it i do admit but it's the best way to look at it if you want to get the most out of this town that's the way things are uh, let's. We need to see what this is before anything else. Basic mysticism. Nobody cares. Okay, we're gonna actually grab that for the XP for this guy. If if this doesn't pan out for getting wisdom, it's uh, not visited. Okay, and we're kind of stuck with everyone else. So whatever. Galthran. I could unjam this with Galthran. I don't know. Um Yeah. I think I'm gonna take a short break actually. So um YouTube end of first part. Yeah.